Bottle Ned here with a really special episode. The owner of this building has given us permission to dig inside of it after he's ripped up the floor slabs and the roof and he's gonna do a major renovation and take it down way deep to make a big ass basement. But beforehand, we're gonna save some history. Digging the West with Bottleneck. Okay, so we've just found a big honker privy hole, but it's really deep and it's in the soft river silt, so we have to open it up really wide to make it a little safer because you don't want to be down deep in a loose collapsing hole in a narrow space where you can't jump out quickly. The following is a bottle net public service announcement. Do not try this at home. We had an insurance policy. Uh, we took a calculated risk. This is loose, silty material that could collapse and does collapse, as you'll see. It's very dangerous. Do not dig deep holes deeper than four feet without proper shoring. So, in conclusion, be very careful. Soil will kill you, man. Like. It will smother you and kill you if it collapses. Thank you. Okay, now for the show. This is soil engineering. Better holes by Bob. There's the liner. It's only within this dimension, but we've opened it up in this loose, collapsing sand. Way wider because sand collapses and we don't want to have to deal with it. This will add some structural integrity to our hole here and make it way less dangerous. Two men in a hole. Hairbrush for horses, 1860s. Eight feet down. Are you rolling? Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. The complicated part. Switching people. Some people getting yeah. out, some people getting yeah, don't, in. Don't, to uh, don't, don't cave us in, please. Who's coming out? Alright, you honk machine. Oh. No, Bob's good in there, dude. Kick some ass, Bob. Oh, here we go. Don't put your foot there. Here we go. Don't put your foot anywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jump. Like your butt will land on the on the ledge, and then you just do, you do like the worm. When's the last time you did the worm? Ready? Here you go. Okay, there you go. Love it. <laughs> You're so limber, honk machine. Ooh. Ooh, this is not gonna yeah, this is not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Schroyer hospital. Oh, oh wait. Oh my god. Is, is he doing it? <laughs> Alright. How did you do it. that? No bloopers on that video. <laughs> did you get that? Dude, Here. that was you should be a figure right, skater in your on. later years. Okay, there you go. There you go. Hold oh, on oh. Don't bend like that, that was amazing. That was very I'm finesse. Really good impressed. Good I'm really good impressed. Good finesse, yeah. You passed the finesse test. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. You are. You still got it, you honk machine. Oh, that knee, that new knee. Back to you. Oh. Oh. You were right, Bob. You said stand. it was gonna go. That's just gonna happen. That's the sand for you. Fucking sand. Stupid substance. We made it nice and flat here for you, Bob. You can throw to your heart's content. <laughs> yeah, boat shoes. Get some. Balding boat shoes. Balding boat shoes. Yeah, you still got it. Head of here. Oh, look off. It's just a 16 sarsaparilla. Maybe 15. Nice 15. Beef dollars, right? Genuine yeah. sarsaparilla. 
60s. Bristol's, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Ooh, lady's leg? It's a lady's leg. Here, let me switch sides. Got a lady's leg showing. Oh boy. I've been so patient. Soda, blue soda Shock from class. New York, 1860s Civil War era. I'm saving all the pieces for you. Oh, coming back in. Wow, Ooh, that's a weird. lady's leg. What the hell? Oh, is that not a salutaris? No, I know. I thought because the <laughs> color it could have been. Oh my god! It has different shoulders than most of them. Yeah, that's different than all those oh, other. Oh, it's one of those PC ones. Is that an underbird? On the base. Wow, it is one. It's a weird one. Look at the color and the shoulders. Wow. Oh, what is God. that crudity? That is crude. That is incredible. Oh, that's nice. Oh, baby. Where'd you put it? Where are you starting to put it? Oh, right there. Right there. Oh, baby. Oh, it's so cool. Look at the top. So crude. Is that a jar? So early. Ancient. Founded in 1846, Underberg Bitters Company was one of the biggest bitters brands in Germany. And its popularity soon spread to the rest of the world. And they still make it today, yeah? There's nothing around you can fall on. Nothing. The big handoff. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful bottle. Look at the oh, top on it. Yeah. Oh, Empire DNM, Deep Cobalt, Pacific Glassworks, 1865. That is awesome. Oh, Wonder Bar. Oh. Hell yeah. My digger. That's the way we dig it. That is an 1860s San Francisco blown cobalt soda water. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Oh. Exquisite. Mm. My pants. I need to change them. So, unfortunately, I didn't end up with the bot in the video, but I already had one, which is what you're looking at right now. And it's full of bubbles and whittle. I actually got this at a garage sale, and the guy was an old construction worker, and he said he found it in the soil somewhere doing some building work in Nevada. This bottle is a very early example of glass blown in San Francisco. That's where all the glass factories were starting in 1859, the first glass factory. Second one was 1860. Pacific Glass Works, I believe, started in 1862 or 63. This is a product of that glass works, and it was blown in about 1864, 65, right in there. You're looking at the reason why California utility glass blown in the 19th century is so sought after by collectors. The glass is transparent and beautiful and clean and shiny like the day it was made. Unlike a lot of other glass from other places in the world, Eastern United States, England, um, <laughs> I'm not here to talk no smack about no bot, but uh, you can clearly see the superiority of 19th century Western utility glass right here. Ooh, damn. What happened? Funka, Base hey, blowout. Never mind that, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, baby. Dot. Ah, Bob got a dot. You got a dot base? Oh, he got dotted. What's the impossible side of that? Yeah, I got it. Oh, it's just a, that's a nice wanky blanky. That's a, that's a specific glass. Big old yeah. Connell. 
Pacific Glass Works. Yeah. You guys, you glad now when you Look at that. Uh, Beautiful. Mama, mama. That's a generic soda. It's not embossed with anything. It just has a dot base. It's 1860s Pacific Glass Works. Beautiful. Still got one to go? Some nice stuff coming out of this hole. Come on, baby. Boss McMums. <laughs> oh yeah, McMums elixir of opium. Yeah, okay, I don't want to get too close to that. Attempting to get out. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, shoot. Well, he said there's not enough room for two guys. Yeah, no, you have to get don't out. Don't get out. Wait, don't go there. Don't go there. Come this way and grab my hand. He's allowed. Oh God, no. Move your. You got It's like creating so much more work. That's alright. Damn, boat shoes. Yay. <laughs> Who would have thought the honk machine was? Woo. It would be so much more graceful. It's just, well, you <laughs> know what? Seriously, that sand is unbelievable. Damn. We're going to see yeah. the power Greek. He's, in, exactly he's invigorated by the, by the power of cobalt soda. Now you're going to see him throw. <laughs> see what happens. It's like playing in the sand. 60s. It's like crank. These guys are tweakers, I told you they were. <laughs> tweakers for the, the right age of bot. Damn, I haven't seen him dig like this in a while. <laughs> He's throwing it like 20 feet. That, that's the difference between... Um, between what? Holy crap. Jesus. Oh my god. That, is that thing's super nice. That's a good color. Super duper. Oh yeah, I remember this. Lou had one of these. That's a really nice color and a form. Yeah. Yeah. That could be Western. And it's Napa. Wow, it must be an early one. Throw it up. That could be a good one. Look at the back. Is it TA? TAW in Napa? No, it's a Western one. Hi, Dan. Yeah. That was so nice. Oh, it's nice of you. I'm a hog heaven. Just a great soda just came out. Yeah, soda. Another Pacific Glassworks, 1860s, San Francisco, blown soda water bottle. Ooh, the big bubble on the base. Right? It says something. Uh, I can't read it. Pain? Pain? Says you're crazy because it's actually unembossed. It's like it. No, it's not unembossed. There's actually so lettering on it. Lettering on that? Yeah. No, you weirdo. <laughs> Looking Snipe. forever. Snipe. You're killing me. You're killing me. Good throw. Good for your hair and everything. Oh, oh, that sounded like Zip. glass to me. <laughs> Zoink. With the glass. Yeah. Get that corner, that's it. Go after it, chase it. Little Parnold Bristol bottle. Just up high. Finished with the hole. Fantastic hole.
Fantastic. Two it thumbs up. <laughs> Don't get much better. Now for the most fun part of all. Filling in the crater. Pretty easy though, because the sand is so soft. So what screws you when you're down there with cave-ins helps you on the fill-in. Is that a red with wall? I, I almost thought I saw it right going this way right there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I saw it. Like this way we're in it. Whoa, a little statue. a dog without a head. Oh, oh wow. It's a dog. Cool. Did Bob decapitate the dog? No, I don't think so. I think it's In the mid-19th century, technological advancements of the Industrial Revolution made it easier to make more stuff. And thanks to this mass production, for the first time in modern history, the working class could afford to buy decorative items, such as porcelain figurines, to put in their homes. While dog figurines were produced starting in the 18th century, the peak of their production and popularity occurred in the late 19th century. These earthenware figurines were commonly placed on mantelpieces in 19th century homes and are also known as hearth spaniels or fireplace dogs. Mainly manufactured in the Staffordshire Pottery's industrial area in England, the figurines were also made in other pottery works elsewhere in England and Scotland. The Staffordshire dogs were rumored to be a part of a secret lover's rendezvous language. Dogs would be put in the window, and depending on how the dogs were oriented towards each other, this would send the message to the lover waiting outside. Oh, nice. Yeah, he'll like that. You already have one of these, right? Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Find too many like that. English mustard. Fancy. <laughs> All right, we've got a, a limey 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 hole at the edge of the parking lot. It was fairly common to dump lime or lye in a privy pit to suppress the stench of the um, you know what. Also, if they didn't have either of those two things, they would use stove ash. Got a bunch of, these people were worried about their ingestion of opium, opium and opioid medicinal products in the 19th century. This one was advertised to be purely vegetable-based painkiller. Painkiller. Patent medicines were unregulated in the 19th century, and many contained dangerous narcotics such as opium and morphine. As the harmful effects of these nostrums began to be known, certain brands emerged claiming that they were purely vegetable-based and free from harmful drugs. Perry Davis's vegetable painkiller being one of them. But in an age when there was no penalty for dishonest advertising, there was no way to know whether or not these claims were really true. Nice stuffed layer before this, right below this layer of uh, stanky old lime. What'd you find? Broken. Oh. Crockett's amygdaline. The R holes, I think it's like 63 to 65 only. Ugh, the 1860s version. What is it, Andrew? Western it's Med. Crockett's broken. amygdaline. Ugh, damn it. That would have been a nice one. <laughs> Let me see it closer. Ugh. What are you sending that to? Barney Brent. Brent? <laughs> Teasing him. R. Hall and Company, Crockett's Amygdalene, Pacific Glassworks, Western Medicine Bottle, Fiery Aqua, 1860s. Ugh. That's Arr, that's the glass you want. That's the good one. <sighs> Shit. Medis. No sodas yet, Doc. No. <laughs> yeah, no sodas. Look at this one. Look at that one. 
Hazard and Caswell. New York. Chemist, no. Got a good lid for Newport, you, Rhode Island. You need one of those? <laughs> Cherry toothpaste lid. Oh my God. Yeah, too. More That's of those. Oh, really? They really like these things. Jeez, that thing's killer. It's got a little crack in it. Damn it. I hate when that happens. This is a good window bottle. Ugh, that's the biggest bottle out of this hole so far. Or is it a Honeywell? It look, looks Eastern, huh? It's probably a Honeywell. Yeah, yeah Honeywell. Cool. Big top. What if it said Pacific Glass on the base? Is it a Underwood? Shoulder and bottle? <laughs> It's a Philly, Motown Philly. Aye. Better quality Motown Philly. I heard another bot in there though. I know, I thought I had a little bit of a hint. There could have been something else in here. The lair, extremely shallow, would have been destroyed by the next scoop. There's your clunk, man. Oh! There's a clunk. bottle. We're bottling. Bottle. I'm looking for the right clunk, baby. Oh, that could be another whiskey. Is that a black attack? I hope not. Kind of big. Wine time. That's what it looks like. Is it wine? That's a French of wine, maybe. If we serve no wine before it's time. Yeah. Well, we got to see the top before we pull it. Black attack. Is it a black? How do you know? Standing straight up, right on the wall. Huh. Because I can tell by the top. You've done this before. <laughs> 1860s. <sighs> Bottles, this would have been. This freaking crier. JF cutter. Stove pipe. Star shield. Broken in place by the pressure of all the buildings and whatever sitting on top of it. Dude, Honeywell, look at that. Totally Honeywell. popped in place. Ugh. That could have been the, the, the heavy equipment rolling over it, too. <laughs> you, My God, you're right, it is. You dug it's up a pig. piggy bank and you split it in half. Where's the coin? Let me, let me see it on. Where are we going to find this There it is. Up the sidewalk. What was in the way? Here's the back wall. Yeah, it's a coin. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, but what was in the way? Just don't can't see. wipe it, you know, really hard. Yeah. yeah. What, what I don't is know what it is. So the coin was inside of that this man. piggy bank. How funny. <laughs> it, so, so somewhere in this area, there's, you'll find the other half of the piggy bank. Quarter, Keep that together. That's yeah. That's cool. I'm going to put it in there. That's cool. Piggy bank. Yeah. Yeah. The other part of that. Horseshoe. Another horseshoe. Damn. <laughs> oh. This is from the stable. The stable. Where did you split that piggy bank in half? Because you, you'll find the other half of it and then it'll be full of coins, right? That's where it came out. Yep. I'll just sprinkle them to see if I see anything in Yeah. Oh, a disc. A a green disc, turn and burn. Oh, there it is. There's the other part of the piggy bank. Yeah, cool. Right the there. butt. You want to get the ass. Okay. Where's the coins? I'm just going to shake it like this. Let's see if you can see anything. There was a poor little kid. All he had was a, a large size scent. That's what has a blob top of a bottle. Back of the original 19th century building on the Sanborn map. Some of the brick still in place formed up there. Bottom, I'm standing on layer, so take okay. where I was. Uh, Close yeah, well, it's not that shallow, great. It's right I'm here. coming in. I'm coming in. Right. Don't get too hasty now. Yeah, take your time because we're already in the heart of it, so take your time. <laughs> It's coming out of here. Wine time. 
underneath your feet, everything on my side, John. Yeah. Really fancy uh, panel chamber pot from the Civil War. Very old chamber pot. You guys smoke everywhere outside of this pit? Yeah, there's a pit right there. He's got it all dimensioned up. <laughs> I did, I did it the Bob's back. I rejoin the conversation. <laughs> what is that age? Oh, a slicko. A slicko. Not even a one dot? No. That's crazy. That's a few. <laughs> <That's so> cool. <laughs> cool enough. That's kind of rare though, just with that style. Hang on. Let's see there. I got to take it. That was it. 1860s. Yeah. Unembossed soda. <laughs> Cool cloud in the top. Did you have yeah. one going or no? Where your feet are and Not dug? That's all layer there. Hasn't been dug. Oh, yeah. more doll got, stuff. That's weird. He's got a um, oh, more doll set. He's got 50% of that layer left. Genuine preparations. Oh, yeah. A clear bottle, a flint glass bottle from the 1860s. Mm -hmm. It's unusual. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. 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 Oh, John, yeah, I think he's good. Uh, a lot of times, and that's all you get. There's another doll thing. Doll thing. That's like a little mini cereal ball. Hey, I, I'd seriously be careful, though. You know why? Because John's sitting on a good half of the other side. Look at this one. Is that the panel? Anything paneled like that is just so old. Such good age. It's a hard pan. How about the sides, though? I'm not there yet. Twist and shout? What do you do? Twist and shout. Oh, Lee and Perrin. I don't think that is. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is? Okay. Wine. Beef bouillon. Yeah. Shallow layer. It's good. So this is underneath the livery stable on the map. So we're getting this compacted layer. They probably tried to engineer the soil so the horses could walk on it without sinking in the sand. Here's a pocket watch chain. Yeah. And there's horseshoes and bottles. The stable boy was drinking some wine. And there's a horse medicine also. This is HHH celebrated horse medicine. So this is definitely the stable. Big old pondled Demi John broken. <laughs> it's hay decayed into the lower levels. That's, a, that's hay. That's horse hay. <laughs> that's freaking crazy. <laughs> the maps don't lie. Hay on the floor of the stable. So they're, they're probably they probably put that down and tamped it down there so the horses could get better traction in here, huh? So here's part of the 1880s Sanborn fire insurance map of the site. And we're digging inside those buildings that are marked with X's. And X's on Sanborn's key meant there were horses inside the buildings. Remember, this is a fire insurance map for in case the building burned down and they can know how much valuable stuff, or in this case animals, were inside the building. And it's really cool because there's actually hay in this layer below where it exactly shows this building which is just like a map coming to life on this site. It's really cool. Broken when they put the sewer pipe in. Dang it. Really cool bottle with like a pineapple. And it's, on the side it says, the pre-digested food company. <laughs> the pre-digested food company, what a weirdo bot. Flip this thing out, I think it's intact. It's a, a lamp from Der Stable Boy with a polished panel. Nice. Very cool. 
That's a nice lamp. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. Very neat. Yeah, that's definitely granite. What do you think that is? I think it's granite. What is it used for? I think it's for getting out of a coach. Oh, like a singular step. Yeah. They probably have way cooler shoes than mine. Sometimes it actually embosses as a well. Really? Yeah. Or like the name of the dude? Canary glass candle? I don't know, it's definitely sandwich glass, I think. Isn't it uranium glass, though? Could be. Yeah, this is the color. That's what I thought. Wow. It's a candlestick holder, almost intact. Pull out that fork, would you? Yeah, I would, it's, it's a whole joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just not deep. I, no, it's not oh, deep. It's a hole. Wow. You're really honking out some dirt, honk machine. Honk! <sighs> yeah, pretty good for an 85 year old. <laughs> That's right. In 20 years, I saw it. Uh, trying to be good. Are you honking, honk machine? Oh, you got yourself a. Big med. Kind of like a sash for real. Or in Scott's a mole shot. Oh my. That's the oldest Scott's emulsion I've ever seen. Scott's emulsion <laughs> and cod liver oil. And something soda with lime and soda. Yeah. Our favorite. Okay. Honk! Oh god, not another one broken. Super heavy. I got a break. Oh. Are you kidding me? On the bottom down here. Fudge, come on. But broken. Super heavy western jar. Yeah. Put it in the bucket. Let me see. Ugh. That's, that's prettier than the other one. Oh man, the AP Brayton jar is one elusive jar. There's probably less than 10 known whole examples in the entire world. Occasionally they're dug broken, and usually the reason why they break is because the heavy iron closure put too much pressure on the thin glass of the top and just caused it to break. These are insanely rare canning jars blown at the Pacific Glassworks in the early to mid 1860s only very significant piece of historical western blown glass. I see a nice butt. Even nicer than this one. Yeah. Old ass. <laughs> this is an older ass. Stupid terracotta above it. Uh, like a soda, but they always do. Yeah. Well, I can tell you it's not a shitty Liam Perrins. Oh. 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 It's an empire. Empire. Nice. Yeah. Empire. Yeah. Yummy for my tummy, tummy, tummy. Empire Soda Works. Very cool. San Francisco. Yes. And now it's time for Bottle Ned's Shower Thought of the Week. Oh, Bottle Ned here with this week's shower thought. <laughs> Bottles help you understand your place in the universe. Yes. 
Because when you look at them, you realize your own mortality. Like sometimes when I'm gazing into the depths of the beauty of a piece of epic glass, I think, wait, someday I'm gonna die and I'm not gonna be able to own this thing? Fuck. But then you're forced to accept it. Kind of. By the way, if anyone knows any vampires who can bite me so I can uh -huh. live forever and never lose my bottles, let me know!